Hi, uh, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a tank bag and go through a brief fitting video. Um, and these, this tank bag is a Shad uh, E04P. Um, the guys over at Shad were kind enough to provide us with a few uh, tank bags for use by the guides from Magellan Motorcycle Tours. So it's a very quick video just to go through how this fits and maybe what makes it a little bit different from, from some of the other tank bags on the market. I've used tank bags in the past. Uh, some of them have been quite big. In hindsight, they all kind of got in the way. You have to move them every time you want to fill up with fuel. There's the risk that one's going to slide off when you go around a corner. So now for the most part, I tend not to use them. But having said that, whenever I'm going on a toll road and I just need somewhere quick and easy to put my uh, payage ticket, or even if you're coming up to a border and you need to have your passport easily to hand, it's either a thigh pack, which I've currently used, but again, in hot weather, uh, that disrupts your ventilation. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to trying out this Shad E04P. You can put your phone in the top of it. Uh, it's not huge inside. You'd probably just about get a pair of summer gloves, probably not winter gloves, but you'd certainly get a wallet, a phone, a charge pack for your phone, and anything else that you just need to keep to hand. Uh, what I think is quite nice about this is actually how it mounts to the bike. A lot of them use quite big tank rings that go around the fuel filler, uh, whereas this one instead uses the metal plate, which fixes to the bottom of the bag. And then there's these little nubbins which will replace the bolts that hold the fuel filler in place. So it should just clip on and off of those. So first bit of the video is me just fixing the plate to the bottom of the bag and then I'll go out to the bike uh, and fit that. And as you can tell, I'm not in my normal workshop or garage. So everything is kind of being done uh, on the fly. I'm currently on a bike trip uh, away from home for a few days. So it seemed like a good opportunity to sort this out. So this is for the Shad E04P uh, tank bag. Uh, and I'm basically gonna fit this metal plate uh, to the underside uh, in here of, of this bag. And then it's these four four lugs on here that will fit into the bolts that I'll put into the fuel tank. So first up, um, I need to fit this rubber piece of rubber stripping uh, to the edge of this, uh, to this rounded edge of the plate. So that just runs in from there and will sit along the front uh, like that and push that into place. So that's all good. Um, and then the next thing to do is to actually fit that uh, to these, these three holes on there, line up with the three holes on here. So we'll just pop that onto there. Uh, and then they are uh, T20, which is quite a small Torx. Um, luckily I have one with me. Uh, so I'll put those in. It's pretty easy. And then the last one here. There we go, all done. That was one of the easiest uh, installations I've had to do. So as you can see, these are the four, four holes that the bag locks onto. And when you pull the release strap, it basically pulls away um, that from inside. So that's basically what locks it and what unlocks it. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do uh, before I go out to the bike is to just assemble these. So onto each one of these, um, there is a small threaded rod. So this is what is going to make the bolts uh, that replace the ones on the bike. Just one thing to note, on one end they have a, uh, an opening so you could put an Allen bolt in to remove it because otherwise I think when you take those heads off those could stay in. So you want to make sure that that is the exposed end, uh, not that end. Because if you put that in and you take the end off then you're going to struggle to get it out. So these have already got some thread lock, uh, the blue, already on there. So I'll just assemble four of those. So those are M5, so that needs a three mil, um, gosh, even smaller than three mil. How even small is that? There we go, uh, seamless. It's almost as if only moments have passed. So that's all four of those done. Got them the right way around because the Allen holes aren't in the bottom. So now all I need to do is just go and fit those to the bike. So the fitting to the bike is pretty easy. This is going on a 2020 uh, BMW R1250 GS. And it's just these four um, front uh, torque spots need to be removed. And this is a T25, so I'll just take those off. interesting well that's uh, it's good that it's got a lockable uh, fuel filler when all it needs is those two bolts removing 
and then the last one. So I'm going to replace the four of those and each one by one of these um, tank uh, nubbins um, with one washer on. So I'll just put those in. Okay, so right now all of those are finger tight. I'm just going to do them up. Don't need to be it's two and a half newton meters. Okay, so there we go. That's all installed. So the very last thing to do is to just fit the tank bag on. So it's just those. Uh, these four just link up with those four that are on there and it's just as simple as you seat them and give it a pull back hear the click and that's it that feels pretty rock solid um yeah so easily openable and closable and then to remove it you just pull this uh this handle on the front oh push it forwards there you go so that's it that's the shad e04p tank bag being fitted to um, an r1250 gs it'll also fit uh, all other uh, R1200 GSs with a liquid-cooled engine, because they're all kind of the same. Uh, I hope that's useful. Thank you.